Alrighty then. So here we are. We are in standard 20.0, the binomial theorem, crazy majigger. And we're going to be doing example number one on page 665. And we need to learn how do we expand x plus y to the power of 7. Okay? Well, um, anytime that we expand, we have to know Pascal's triangle. So check this out. Pascal's triangle goes as follows. You start with the one on top. And the ones are, are um, always going to go on the outside. So we put one and one. Okay? Now check this out. One's going on the outside, but if you want to know what goes in the middle, we're going to add these two. One plus one is two. And then we can keep going with this pattern. One's going on the outside, but then how do we know what's going to go here? See, because there's always going to be a number in between every gap. So one plus two is three. Two plus one is three right there. And then one plus three is four. Three plus three is uh, six. Three plus one is four. And then you put your ones on the outside. And we can go ahead and continue with this pattern here. One. 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is because this is how we expand, you know, x plus y to the power of 4, or 5, or 6, or 7, because this right here would stand for x plus y to the power of 0. This right here would be x plus y to the power of 1. This would be x plus y to the power of 2. x plus y to the power of 3. And, and so obviously we have to get all the way until we get to 7. So that means we have to keep going on here. Okay, this is for 3. This is for 4. 5. So we have to go two more rows. So we're going to do 1, 6, 15, uh, 20, 15, 6. Hold on here. Yeah, 6 and then 1. And then one more row. So that means we can have the x plus y to the power of uh, 7. So 1, 7, 21, 35, uh, 35, 21, 7, and 1. Okay? How do I know which row to use? It's because you start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This stands for the coefficients of x to the power of 7. So we're going to use these coefficients, those coefficients right there. So we're going to use 1, 7, 21, 35. 35, 21, 7, and 1. Now, all we have to do is just do our variables here. And watch, this is super easy. You start with the first variable, x, and you put it right here, and you start with the power of 7. And then go to the next one, and now you're going to do 1 less than 7. So x to the power of 6. And then and the x to the power of 5. And then x to the power of 4. And then x to the power of 3. x to the power of 2. x to the power of 1. Okay? And then you go to your second variable, y, and you start... On the right-hand side, y to the power of 7. y to the power of 7. And then go now from uh, right to left. y to the power of 6. See, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And like you don't put 0 because y to the 0 is just 1. And then we put in our plus signs. Plus, plus. Now we're going to have class in just a moment. And there it is. This is the, this right here is the, expanded form of x plus y to the power of 7 is equal to this whole tamale. It's a big one.